Alright, so we're gonna learn about ES6. Um, we're gonna create a constructor. So the first thing you do, we're gonna create, we're gonna create a class. The class is gonna be called, um, let's call it girl. Because we're gonna create a girl. And I just proved women are objects. I'm just kidding. It doesn't So we're gonna do a console log typo. And then we're gonna do girl. Create a kind of girls. So this is the function. Alright, let's create a new let let's call it hottie and then new girl and we can call this a hottie. hottie. Cool. She's an object now. <laughs> Told you when we were objects. Just kidding guys. Um so that's the first thing we do. Let's create a constructor. Let's give her the name. Constructor. Let's create a constructor. And uh, let's give her um, let's give her a name, name five. And um, uh, rating. So we're gonna call this name equals to name. And this rating. Equals to rating, and we're going to create. Um, we also can create a method. Um, the ratings we can also do. Uh, let's give her a name like Shasha. And then the rating is ten, which is a perfect hottie. And let's do a console out log out. Cool. And then we can exit it by using a name like that. So her name is Shasha. And let's do concatenation. She is a perfect hottie. She's a 10. And she's a 10. Shasha, she is a 10. So, Shasha's a 10. Damn, she's hot. Alright, let's give her some methods. So, method is like basically she can like have functions, like she can do something. She can. I'd say walk. She can walk. I want me to, just, you know, to sketch. So, that would be nice. And I like girls. And I don't want me to be known as like that guy who doesn't respect women. So, she can. Let's call catwalk. So, she's just she's a model. Let's say catwalk. Catwalk. So she struts down. Actually, I can make the name first. This name walks down the red carpet. And judges give her a this maybe. So it's every girl's dream to get a ten out of ten from all the judges. So let's go hottie catwalk call the function. So Shasha walks down the red carpet and judges give her a ten. Oh my god, dream come true. This 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 constructor of a girl is like a super hottie and then when she walks down the runway I'll just give her a 10 damn that's pretty cool let's create another hottie let's create a hottie too new girl let's call her um what's the hot name Tyra let's make her let's make her hermosa for beautiful in Spanish and it's not gonna work with the rating thing. Let's check it out. Hottie two, cut walk, and power walks down the red card and just gives her her most uh rating with whatever. Um, we could also give. Create a static method, but there's no point doing that. Okay. 
Alright, we're done with this. So this is the basics of a constructor. So we have methods. A constructor can hold values like basically you can give it a name, other parameters, properties, you know. Pretend like they're like variables. Let's create a getter and setter too. So we're done with like the constructor thing. Um, we're gonna create. Uh, let's create dog and the dog structure ID. Because um, we're doing databases, we want unique IDs. That's why we do IDs. Setter. So we can set the value or something. Look up. Um, let puppy puggy. I oh, not puggy. Makes sense too. I mean, dog. The dog. It's called Roger. So, log. Puggy. You should get Roger. Let's see the jumper. Temporary. Then we can um, set it. So, Dog ID plus two. We can say them like the different name because the nickname is uh, Raji. Cool. Shoot, buggy. Oops. There we go. Yeah. So these are getters and setters. So basically, a getter will just get the ID. It'll get it from the constructor and then you set it. Basically, you can change it. So, you want to set it to a different kind of like ID temporarily. You want to do like temporary stuff like that. So, I didn't explain much because I don't know why we do this, but this is how you create constructors, create a getter and setter. Um, I hope you learned something. So, this is like the basics of. Uh, object oriented programming for um, JavaScript because JavaScript has these new ES functions which are really really cool so there's less weird things going around and you can create constructors and classes to make sure the global scope doesn't get diluted so like basically like you can use ID everywhere else so every dot is to like you know name stuff to give it functions IDs properties to store variables but they're called properties, pretend like that to store like information temporarily into this their own unit and code so it doesn't you know overwrite each other. So um, that's my tutorial. Um, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and keep on hacking guys. Peace.